if you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Alright, well good guys, morning everybody. I pray you're having a blessed and a beautiful morning. Today is Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday, June 29th is almost the end of the month. I love it. It's almost the end of the month. Good guys, morning to you. This is a day that the Lord has made and we will, beloved, we shall. We are, what? Say it with me. Going to rejoice and be Glad in it. Good guys, morning to all of you again. Amen. Let's get our scripture for this morning. I was making sure that was the right one. Praise God. All right, our scripture this morning is coming from Songs 145. Song 145, verses 18 and 19. Okay? Psalm 145, verse 18 and 19. And it says, it says, The Lord is near to all who call on him. To all who call on him in truth. Mm. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and answers them. Good God almighty. Lord, let, let me read that again. It says, the Lord is near to all who call on him. To all who call on him in truth. Truth, he fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. Good God's morning to everybody. Look, look, look at here. Look at here. Look at here. Good God morning, earth. Look at here. Mm. It says the Lord is near to all who call on him. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? And then it says, to all who call on him in truth. Mm, that right there. Let's stop right there. Beloved, are you calling on the Lord, first of all? And if you're calling on the Lord, are you calling on him in truth? Why are we so concerned about everybody else and what everybody else say and what everybody else do? And we just fail to realize that God wants our truth. God wants us, he said, he said right up, he wants our truth. God wants our truth. So when we're calling on him, how, why we think we can fool God that knows everything? That's what I want to know. Let, let me say that right there. Why we think we can call on God and a fool on a God, all-knowing, all-seeing God that knows everything. He knows everything about us before we knew it ourselves. Why we think that? I don't know. I don't know why we think that. But anyway, he says, who call on him in spirit and in, I mean, who call on him in truth. He is near to those who call on him and call on him in truth. I believe he still hears those that call on him that ain't ain't in truth. But I believe he, he the scripture says is near. He closer to them who call on him in truth. If you can be honest with God, beloved, that means you can be honest with anybody. It don't matter what anybody else got to say about you because I'm honest with God. And God is the one who made me and created me. So it don't matter what you think. He says he fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. Now listen, that latter part of that sentence goes, it is the, is the, how can I say, it's the, not after math, but the, but the, the cause, the cause and effect. Okay, so if you, if you call on him in truth, he is near to you. 
And then because he is near to you, he therefore gives you the desires because you you actually kind of fear him. You know, listen, it, it takes a lot to to give truth. For those of us who are hiding, ducking and weaving, you know, acting like other people don't know our truth. And we ones, you know, still in the dark, you know, and, you know, trying to hide and hide from people. People ain't nothing. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what I'm saying? They ain't God. They ain't got no heaven or hell to put you in. When we fear that, you know, we fear our truth and our, you know, desires to, to love and to be loved and, you know, desire to serve God and, you know, in spirit and in truth. He he feels that. He hears that. And so, therefore, what is he doing? He is nearer to you who fears him. Not, not that you fear, you know, the wrath of God. Because, you know, this is the we, we misunderstand God. God is so loving. He is so kind. If he wanted to kill us and destroy us, he could have a long time ago. Matter of fact, the last time he did that was... Uh, by water. He said, I'll never do that again. Next time I'm coming by fire. <laughs> you know, but it, 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 he's saying, you know, I'm coming. Um, when I crack the sky, I'm separating, you know, the right from wrong, the dead who died in Christ and those, you know, who just, you know, whatever. I, he's doing that then. But now he's trying to get all of us to come to him. Come to Jesus while you have time. Bring all your fears and frustrations to him. He says he hears their cry and he saves them. Some of y'all been crying and y'all just been wilding out because of what people have said and what people are trying to impose and do to you. And you're fearful. And God says, you know, if you if you would just worship me in your truth, give me your truth. You're trying to hide from the wrong person. Give me all of your sins. Give me all of your brokenness. Give me all of your hurts. Give me all of your frustrations. Give me everything that you might think. I might stone you for. And watch what happens. Give him all of that. And if we give him all of that, he says he hears it and he saves us. Beloved, who would serve a God like that? You know? We picture God as a mean man. You know, he sit there and be mean and just like, you know, got his his rod and sit on his on, on the throne, got a rod and just, ah, you're going to hell. Ah, you just And God is like, You got me so wrong. So wrong. I love you when nobody else loves you. I saw you in your sin. And I still sent my son to come and get you. You got me all wrong. Have you ever thought you knew somebody and, you you know, you heard what everybody else say, said about them, but it was only until you got to know them. You drew your own conclusion from what other people said, but it was only when you got to know that person that you understood that they were so much different than what others said. Beloved, stop listening to other people about your God. Yeah, he did God too, but they, they something, I don't know, maybe they ain't got the right relationship with him. They ain't read their Bible enough. They ain't got in, 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 in prayer long enough and stayed at the altar long enough. You get a relationship with God. Don't just take my word for it. Get in the word yourself. Read the word of God for yourself, and you will see just how gentle and loving and forgiving God is. He is near to them who call on him and who call on him in truth. To all those that call on him in truth, he is near. God is near. So he's near. He says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man hears my hears hears me, you gotta hear me. That's how you that's how you can be be in close relationship with him and how you know who he is and how you know, you know, um um his characteristics because you hear him. Do you hear him today? Come on. I hope you hear him this morning. Come to Jesus while you have time and come in your truth. Stop hiding and weaving. Who cares about what people say? Who cares about what people think? I, I gave up on people a long time ago. Because people will love you one minute, and then they'll, they'll hurt you the next. 
people people uh, uh, come in your face and they'll 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 smile in your face, talk talk with you, and then turn around and talk about you. People people are wishy washy. God never changes. He never has changed, and he never will change. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. He loved you yesterday. He loved you uh, last year, the year before that, and he loves you tomorrow the next day, next year, and everything else. He never changes. People changes. People get their revelations. God God loved me then. What you mean? Oh, now all of a sudden, God loved me? Oh, oh you've been telling me for years that God did love me. Now you want to tell me God loved me? God loved me for <laughs> since I was born, okay? He loved me before I was born because he said, I knew you. I created you. I knew you. While you was in your mother's womb, before you put you, I put you in your mother's womb, I knew you in the spirit. Stop believing everything everybody else say and hear God. Hear God. Hear God. Okay? Hear God. Hear God. Hear God. Hear God. Learn to hear God for yourself. Learn to call on him for yourself. And when you call on him, just be real. He already know. Real, real. Jesus is real to me. So you be real with him. He real with you. Be real with him. Can't tell you enough. Just be real. All right. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. God, for your grace and your mercy. It's another day that you've allowed us to awake and see. God, we know that you've already, you know about this day. You've already orchestrated. You already planned it. So, God, we put our trust in you. We walk by faith and not by sight. And God, we thank you for this word this morning, the opportunity to commune with you this morning. It tells us that, God, you are near to all who call on him, even to all who call on him in truth. Mm. You never turned your back on us, God, when others turned their back. You never walked away from us. You never uh, 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 rebuke <laughs> us you never scored us you never punished us but god you was right there with us and you still fulfilled the desires of our heart even though we feared you you're still fulfilling the desires of our heart even though sometimes we're not sure we're not certain god you hear our cries and and you're there to save us god we thank you that even in our uncertain ways that you are consistent with us. Lord, we ask you to bless us today. Bless those who are watching now. Bless those that will watch this later. And God, bless those that may have already been on this morning. We thank you for being the unchanging God, the ever-loving God. We thank you for being consistent, even when we haven't been consistent with you. God, I pray today that some yokes are destroyed, that burdens have been lifted this morning, that chains have been broken, for they can understand that you are our most loving God. All you want is us. You said to seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these other things will be added unto us. And so, God, we come to you, some wounded, some broken, some hurt, some half near dead. God, but we come knowing that you can revive us again. God, that you can stir up the gift inside of us. Father, I pray right now for anyone that is going through this morning, anyone that needed this word, we thank you for your word because it always comes when we need it, just in time. We give you glory today and we bless your holy name. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said amen and amen. Good God's morning to all of you. Good guys morning to you. Good guys morning, Lady Karen. Y'all say hello to First Lady this morning. Good guy morning, Sister Ruby Lennon. Good guys morning, uh, uh, Sister Powell. God bless you, um, Tanya. Good guys morning to you. Good guys morning. Good guys morning, Shelly. Good guys morning, Kanita. Good guys morning, Bobby. Good guys morning to you, Brianna Green. Good guys morning to you. Good guys morning. Good morning, Reggie Wells. Good morning. Good guys morning. I hope I got everybody. Don't want to miss anybody. If I did, um, 
please just charge it to my mind, not my heart, okay? I'm trying to see you, all right? But I don't see everybody. Amen? All right, so good guys morning to you. God bless you. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day. And remember, God love you. Listen, I want to extend this invitation to you because some people still don't 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 realize that, you know, when I say and when God has given to me that we are my church, Victory in Christ United Church is a church for all people. We are for all people. Doesn't matter if you're straight, if you're gay, confused, hurt, broken, whatever, trans, it does not it does not matter. Black, white, Puerto Rican. Hispanic, it, it does not matter what you are. It does not matter. It does not matter. Hear me. It does not matter. We are the church for all people. When I say all people, all people, whatever category you fit yourself in, we are the church for you. Come, let's worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. You're welcome to join us. Every, any day our doors are open. Our doors are open on a regular on a Sunday morning at 11 a.m. and on a regular on Wednesday at 6.30 to 7.30 p.m p.m. for Bible study, Refresh and Refuse Wednesday, all right? If you can't make it to the house, you can always join us on our Facebook page. We're, we're streaming. Every time we have service, we're streaming, okay? All right? And for some reason, if the thing is acting up, you can go back and watch any of our services on YouTube, Victory in Christ, United Church, or you can go back and stroll through our page, Victory, I-C-U-C, -C, okay? For Victory in Christ, United Church, all right? So, again, I extend the welcome to you. The doors of the church are always open, okay? So come and worship up with us in spirit and in truth. I'm looking forward to meeting you, okay? Looking forward to being there, being in, in worship with you, me and Lady Karen, okay? Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day. Good God's morning to you, and we will see you tomorrow, the same time, same place, for another Good God's Morning moment. Good God's morning to you. God bless you. If you want to hear want to an hear. inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith. grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God.